Well, it's the first Monday in October, and we've invited a local mayor to join us for our Mayor Monday segment. And here with us now is Logansport Mayor Ted Franklin. Good morning and welcome. Good morning to you. So a lot has happened since the last time we saw you, last time we brought you in for Mayor Monday, um, particularly uh, pretty significant this past month for the city of Logansport. Yeah, we've had that $800 million power plant be officially approved by the city. We've reported on it every step of the way. Not all city officials were happy down to the end, really. Some said it may still be too good to be true. Are you satisfied with how this has gone through? I'm very satisfied with uh, where we're at today. Uh, you know, there's still some hurdles to clear. We, we still don't have an air permit. There's a lot of things that could, um, you know, block this project from happening. We realize that. But we also realize that we have to do something. You know, this is a, a problem that uh, the city has been focused on for at least 10 years now and, and we finally have some resolution to it. We know October of 2015 our existing power plant will uh, be mothballed and at some point in time we either have to decide if we're going to purchase electricity off the grid or if we're going to continue to generate our own. Staying on this topic, um, what does the city plan to do with the $1.75 million franchise fee? Well, the, the franchise fee all along was intended to just reimburse the city for our development costs. So that money will be returned to the funds from where it came. And uh, most of that came from the CEDIT fund or the City Economic Development Income Tax. And where do we stand now on state permitting? I know it's now to the Department of Environmental Management. What have you heard from them so far? It's going to take about a year. Um, and there will be a, a large uh, amount of computer modeling that has to be done. And, and uh, you know, it's projections and... Uh, scenarios that are added into the computer models and then uh, but it, it takes a while to get this done and we know that so we're, we're about a year away from sticking a shovel in the ground and um, moving on now to another subject out of uh, Logansport a lot of talk a uh, big project out there on the east side of town at the existing mall the City Council expected to talk about this tonight tell us a little bit about this project and where it stands well our, our existing mall has about a 90 percent vacancy rate right now there, uh, after the recession of 2008 it, it even magnified the problems that we were having out there so the mall is uh, currently in foreclosure uh, we've been working closely with the bank we anticipate some kind of resolution with that and the city has already been active in acquiring land we just recently bought about 20 acres this summer the mall sits on about 26 acres and it's surrounded by um, a Home Depot and a Walmart so it truly is our central business district as far as retail business goes so we're hoping to uh, spur some more development out there by uh, creating a planned unit development and the planned unit development would be uh, would consist of uh, high-end single-family residential properties as well as market rate apartments and uh, we want to make this a walkable neighborhood so that the, the neighborhood would be complete with trails so that the folks who live there would would have a really convenient way of getting around and, and doing the things that they like to do as far as entertainment shopping and and all the things that go along with it and a new city park opened last month as well in logansport planning began seven years ago for this so tell us how happy you are to have this come to logansport and be a new feature for the city well obviously we're happy um, the the houston family donated 80 acres of land that had been in the family for a hundred years or so and and uh, they had all moved away over the years and, and thought that it would be a good legacy for them. The city uh, happily accepted the property and uh, we have, uh, we've done some phases first. We've, we've included about almost two miles of trails around the, uh, the existing, that 80 acre site. We've installed some playground equipment and uh, public facilities as far as bathrooms are already in place. So uh, eventually we hope to have an amphitheater as well as football fields, soccer fields, softball fields. With these significant projects and new developments development coming into town. What does this say for the city of Logansport? I, I think most of all it says that we're open for business and we're looking for long term. We're, I mean we're not looking about four years. I always uh, try to relate that to anybody that I speak with. This isn't a, a four-year project. It's a 40-year project and so we're just trying to to keep our head above the water and to get a few of these things done. We're very excited about our power plant and we believe that that will be the catalyst that eventually brings Logansport back to uh, to where it once stood as far as being a regional, um, a regional force in economic development matters. All right, Logansport Mayor Ted Franklin joining us for Mayor Monday. Thank you very much. Thank you.